Thank you so much, Brian. The number of coronavirus cases continues to climb in North Carolina. The state reports at least 1,167 positives and five deaths. 121 cases are confirmed in the triad. That's an increase of 12 since yesterday. And a reminder, Governor Cooper's stay-at-home order goes into effect at 5 o'clock this evening. He's asking the entire state to stay home for 30 days. Several triad cities and counties are already under local stay-at-home orders. That includes Forsyth and Guilford County and the towns of Clements, Winston-Salem, Graham, Louisville, High Point, and Greensboro. Well, we do have an article with answers to some frequently asked questions about what you can do and can't do under the statewide stay-at-home order. That's on our website right now, WXII12.com. 703 with those orders in mind, here's a breakdown of which places are closed, which ones are staying open. Gyms, entertainment venues like bowling alleys, theaters, salons, barbershops, bingo parlors, sweepstakes businesses, all of those have to close. North Carolina gas stations, grocery stores, pharmacies, banks, laundromats, restaurants that offer takeout or delivery, they are all staying open. Also, North Carolina students will be out of school until at least May 15th. If you're looking for meals for your children while they're out of school, there's a new texting tool that can help parents and students find that food. This is for families who do rely on free and reduced lunch. You can text food in C to the number on your screen. That's 877-877. You'll be asked for your address and then you'll get a response with nearby meal sites. Well, prepare for at least another month of avoiding those get togethers. The coronavirus pandemic poses significant threats and people are still being warned to avoid leaving home when possible. John Lawrence has more on the extension. President Trump's dream to have churches filled on Easter Sunday won't come true. We will be extending our guidelines to April 30th to slow the spread. Confirmed cases of COVID-19 keep climbing and health officials say people need to maintain a safe distance from one another. We feel that the mitigation that we're doing right now is having an effect to extend this mitigation process until the end of April, I think was a wise and prudent decision. The coronavirus has already killed more than 2,400 people in the U.S. President Trump says modeling shows the country's death rate may peak in about two weeks. If we could hold that down, as we're saying to 100,000, it's a horrible number. Maybe even less, but to 100,000. So we have between 100 and 200,000. Uh, we all together have done a very good job. The U.S. has the most confirmed cases worldwide with more than 139,000 as of Sunday night. Hospitals in some parts of the country expect to run out of beds within two weeks as more patients arrive. We really have to have a new mentality, a new culture of hospitals working with one another. This is going to be all hands on deck. This is everybody helping everyone else. I'm John Lawrence reporting. The time is now 705. More than 30,000 people have died from coronavirus globally. That's according to the World Health Organization. Well, the check will be in the mail. Governor Roy Cooper's office says the first batch of unemployment benefits are going out this week. Devante McKenneth has been looking a little more into this. Devante, what can you tell us? Well, Bree, you know, the governor's office says about 270,000 claims have already been filed, and that number is sky high when you compare this to what they usually see given this time of time period. But we know what we're going through right now, and that's the COVID-19. Just to compare for you, in the first two weeks of March, before the orders to close down, the restaurants, the bars, the salons, everything, there were about 7,500 claims. So between, yeah, March 1st to the 14th, from March 15th to the 28th, you can see that difference there on that chart. That's a difference of more than 262,000 claims. One thing for those getting unemployment insurance benefits to remember, though, you have to complete a certification each and every week to continue getting that payment. And it's easy. It's just a sh uh, short series of yes or no questions to determine if you're still eligible or not. If you don't do that, if you don't do that, um, that questionnaire, that certification each week, then you lose out on the payments. And of course, it's all coming down from the governor's office. Bria. And thank you, Devante. The FBI says scammers are already trying to steal people's money as they wait for stimulus checks 
from the federal government. They're asking for personal or financial information through calls, texts, emails, or even websites. Americans making less than $75,000 a year are eligible for up to $1,200. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin says people should expect to see that money within three weeks. Officials say scammers will likely claim to be from the government and ask for your personal information. Well, the coronavirus is also further disrupting the 2020 census. The Census Bureau says it's extending its suspension of field work until April 15th. That's two weeks longer than originally planned. That means a freeze on hiring and training of tens of thousands of workers for the largest phase of the census. And those workers would go to the millions of homes that haven't responded. The delay also affects door-to-door -door census deliveries, about 10 million homes there. And the process was originally scheduled to end on July 31st, but now it's set to end on August 14th. Well, if it weren't for quarantines and stay-at-home orders, now would be the time to travel thanks to low gas prices. The U.S. average retail price per gallon dropped nearly 23 cents in the past two weeks to $2.15. Now, according to analysts, the price may fall up to 50 cents more in the near future. Can you imagine that? Around the triad, you can expect to pay about $1.88 in Winston-Salem, $1.68 in Greensboro, and $1.93 in High Point.